What is going on guys? Nifty Bacon back on Car Mechanic Simulator. We're up to episode 20 and this is going to be a fun one guys. I actually found a new glitch. It's nothing to do with money. It's nothing to do with XP or anything like that. It's just a fun little free roam type of thing. So uh, I will show you guys that in a bit. Last episode we uh, basically fixed up this car. I didn't show you guys what it was worth. But as you can see, uh, it's worth 114138 So this car is worth quite a lot of money. So if you could find one of these and restore them, you're going to make quite a bit off of these cars. That is for sure. And the global body is kind of low. Oh, it's just the interior seating and stuff like that. So uh, let me put some plates on here real quick, and we'll get to that like glitch real fast. I'll, I'm just going to try to get these uh, plates on here and then uh, see if it'll add some value to the car so it'll be worth quite a bit more. You know? Alright. Yeah! Just gave us a huge restoration bonus. Added $22,000. She can make 130-ish grand. 135 grand on this car so you can make quite a bit of money on this car all right well uh, i'll show you guys the glitch that i actually came across because i was just driving it around on the racetrack it's kind of a cool free roam thing all right here we are at the track guys so uh i don't think anybody else has found this uh kind of glitch or whatever uh for like a kind of a free roam type of thing because you're only you're stuck on the track there's walls you can't really go anywhere other than just the track itself uh but i came across this myself so uh i don't think anybody else has found it so this is pretty much the glitch that i found <laughs> so if anybody else puts up a video about it it's copying mine obviously <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let me try to remember where this was. Yeah, here it is. See, look, I went right through here by accident, and you can pass through the wall. So I basically was like, oh my gosh, I can go through the wall there. Maybe I can get through one of these walls or something. So I was just kind of over here and stuff and it was not quite going through and then i get stuck and it kind of halfway went through right there as you guys saw and then i was like well maybe it's further up oh boy these tires are horrible i need to change them i need to figure out what tires are actually best but i basically went over this way and was going to hit the wall and i just went right through just like that and here we are we can just like free roam drive around go wherever we want we're not stuck on just the track or anything we just go wherever we want Woo <laughs> free roam check it out guys do burnouts all kinds of stuff over here free roam in the trees I wonder how far we can go i don't think i tested that last time i just found it so i was like holy cow i gotta show you guys this this is awesome Maybe this is the point? Nope. Boy, how far can we go? Let's see. Still going. Still going. Wow, you can go forever. Oh, there's a road over here. Let's go up to the log cabin, maybe. Maybe this, this is where it goes. Oh, we're flying off the edge of the map. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Well, I guess we'll just continue to tumble on this forever. Yep. We're going really fast, though. We're hitting 320 miles an hour. Wait, three, uh, 350 maybe? Yeah, getting pretty fast. So we got a top speed of 350. No other car can touch us because no other car has reached that speed in the game. So we have beaten a record. All right, let's... Uh, restart <laughs> that was cool i didn't know there was an edge of the map too that's pretty awesome so uh basically uh, if you get stuck there like that you can just restart and you're good to go so that's pretty cool uh have fun with that guys i wanted to show you guys that it's pretty fun 
nice little wall glitch there. Uh, or a free roam glitch, I guess. If you guys are bored and you want to just drive around, that'd be kind of cool and check that out. So uh, let's head back to the garage. All right, guys, back in the shop. So that was pretty cool to have uh, that little glitch happen. So that's a fun little glitch for you guys to do now, other than the, the money glitches and things like that. Or, you know, if you want to blow off some steam, you can uh, screw around with that and stuff. So uh, we're going to sell this car and make a massive profit of 135000 36000 or whatever it was. Now we're up to $871,000, guys. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe we'll do a quick little junkyard trip. Maybe we'll see some, find some four cylinders and turbos or something. All right, guys, back in the junkyard. See if we can find some four cylinders. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this kind of reminds me of uh, Trailer Park Boys. If you guys have ever seen that show, I really like watching. That's pretty funny. This kind of reminds me of Ricky's car because it's green and everything. Maybe we'll do like a Trailer Park Boys like build on this car or something. That would be kind of funny. To kind of keep it all rusted and stuff. Yeah, we might do that actually. I think I think we might just do that. It's going to be Ricky's car. <laughs> it's a good show. If you guys haven't seen Trailer Park Boys, I'd definitely watch it. It's pretty funny. Well, I guess it depends. Like some people would like it, some wouldn't obviously. So that's that, of course. Uh, maybe I'll check out the stuff later, parts and things. Uh, let's see, we have 34 cylinder cars here. Here's one. Is this a turbo, maybe? It's just, oh, it's turbocharged. Cool. Okay, we've got our four cylinder turbocharged, so we can do one of those now. Throw that in the garage. Right, there we go. That's what I kind of wanted. And we found Ricky's car from Trailer Park Boys, so we'll build that too. It'll be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for cars. Let's see if there's any parts that we can use. Oh, probably keep this episode short because, uh, as I told you guys before in previous episodes, that's getting busy for my work, so probably going to have to shorten them up now and everything. Still keep the good quality of them and all of that, you know, and we'll, we'll just have to build a car in like two episodes and not in like one full one, I guess. Oh, another one of these. Two car. I'll pass on that. I'm out of room, kind of. We'll get that another time, maybe, and build it. I already checked that one. Oh, well, there's not a lot of junk piles right here right now. Or anything I can really fix. Oh. Maybe fix that and that else, possibly. Probably could fix that, maybe. Probably not, I'm guessing, because it's so damaged. Let's try to head one here. Yeah, we could fix that, maybe. Alright. That looks to be about it for this junkyard walk around what were those they got like uh oh it's just bottles of water i thought it was like zucchinis or something all right let's go back to the garage all right guys back in the garage and uh yeah i think we'll actually build this into like the trailer park boys uh like ricky's car <laughs> build on this one it kind of looks a lot like it I mean, obviously it's different, like the taillights aren't the same and things like that, but pretty much that would be it. So we could do kind of like a 
find parts in the junkyard and then like just slap them on the car to at least get it running type of thing we can do with that so we'll probably do that in future episodes or i'll do it uh kind of as i'm playing the game and then be like hey i got the parts guys let's put it together and blah 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 so i think we need a door for this and then like the trunk and then the door and then like the tail lights and stuff and then he was missing this door usually all the time and then a seat <laughs> So I'll uh, probably do that trailer park boy build on that one. Uh, and then we got our four cylinder right here that we can do for the turbocharger. So we can get started on this, I think. Like at least get the engine pulled out and that kind of thing. So to, to get started on it at least. That's right, we need to take the, the tires off. These axles out of here at least. The other side. We good to go, right? No exhaust hooked up? Okay. I don't think so. Watch, it'll tell me. Be like, you have an exhaust missing. What the heck, man? What's going on? Okay, there we go. Throw it on here. Okay, I should have just turned it. <laughs> Just basically got the crankshaft in here. No pistons or nothing. Oh, yeah. I kind of need to take this off. Duh. I was like, why can't I take it off? There ain't any pistons or anything in there. Duh. Alright, pretty easy tear down. So we got the engine out. Got the parts for that. We'll repair it. And do that type of thing, and we'll get into, uh, you know, fixing this car up and getting the turbo going. I will just uh, use the welder, slap that on there, get the frame fixed at least. There we go, send it back. Alright, so we at least got like a base to start with. Got the engine, we'll repair the parts. We'll dig into this, uh, the next episode and everything and get that going. So I just wanted to get, show you guys the glitch and everything. Have fun with that. We'll be starting on this four cylinder two row charge next. See you guys in the next video. Definitely leave a like, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and get notified when my videos will be up midnight every day, except for like when I have glitches and things that I find I'll put up at random times. See you guys in the next video.